Ashen Wolf here. I'm an extrasensory coach, heart space coach, completion process facilitator, parts work facilitator, shaman. And today we're going to be talking about how to open up your extrasensory abilities. I have been working with my extrasensory abilities naturally since I was very, very young. And so because this is something that kind of comes naturally to me and is kind of just who I am. I know exactly what's going on here that I can tell you, okay, this is what it looks like. Um, this is how you do it. So I have some practices for you that are going to take you on that frequency. And the first practice, when it comes to clairvoyance and actually all of the extrasensory abilities, the very best times to practice is first of all in nature anytime in nature um but specifically when the sun is really low when the sun is actually setting when the sun is rising or when it's actually dark the reason is the lack of light actually activates your third eye your clairvoyance the dmt that is running through your system and it will allow you to have a completely different sensory experience at that time. The sunlight is very much connected to life force energy. It is very much connected to life in and of itself. And brightness and light is like literally here so that we can live our human experience. And our human experience on this planet, we have chosen to live with our extra sensory abilities and we have chosen to live in a space of physicality and so the sunlight is actually literally the symbol of physicality in of itself and the night the moon and when the sun is setting is when our earth is most connected to the ethers the astral realm the multiverse and it is when there is more of a portal or an opening to yes connect with your extra sensory abilities so I'm going to teach you some practices that work with this so that you can understand what I'm talking about more. So let's say you're in the dark or the sun is setting. You want to really relax your vision because when we're staring at a physical object, it's like we focus on one thing. And I'm going to give you another practice soon that actually works with focusing. But for the most part, we want to relax our vision. We want to really get into a state of calm and relaxation throughout our whole body. Taking deep breaths into the body really works. And then what you want to do is you want to relax your vision and kind of look around you at everything and at nothing at the same time. My peripheral vision is open to everything, to take in everything, and at the very same time, I'm not really focusing on what it actually looks like. I'm focusing on the energy in between the physical objects. I'm focusing on the energy of the land everywhere. And what you can do is you can play around with kind of looking at your hand and seeing if you can pick up that little auric light around it. You can and play around with this just again relaxing your vision and really trying to pay attention to the way the light is moving when it's like on low but also can I see any kind of light that is surrounding an object can I see see any movement in the energy and to practice and train yourself to see this movement to see the the actual energy of a room moving because a lot of people actually are picking up on a lot of clairvoyance throughout the day and they don't realize that it is clairvoyance they don't realize that when they see that kind of glowing light around something that that's actually them picking up on, on an auric field uh they don't realize that the movement in the air around them that they're seeing every day that's actually energy that they're seeing move and the more that you practice with this and the more that you just relax to stare at the darkness or stare at the sun setting these things, you're going to start to see kind of black hole vortexes in the air and these are portals of energy. Um, you're going to see clumps of energy moving and maybe even clumps of light energy, so balls of light. And these are beings, these are fairies, um, so there's so much to see. Um, you can also see patterns, so sacred geometry. Another thing is you can practice closing your eyes in the dark 
and to see the kind of sacred geometry and codes that will come to you through that. And again, practice what does it look like when I'm in the dark and my eyes are closed? What does that look like? Because the, in, when your eyes are closed and you're in the dark, you're literally staring at the astral realm. And in fact, anytime your eyes are closed, that is actually you staring at the astral realm. And the more that you connect to what you're looking at, the more the astral realm will become clear and the more shapes and things will start showing up and sacred geometry will start showing up. The the sunrise and the sunset and the moon are the most activating things that you can get for your third eye. Going out to nature is, of course, activating in a so another practice would be to open up your clear audience and that would be chanting. So chanting really, really, really is, or also singing bowls, right? Singing bowls and chanting. And to practice actually just hearing the sound of that sacred frequency, but specifically chanting is the most activating. So what I like to do is I like to do the sounds of the chakra, the Sanskrit sounds of the chakra. So, and so on and so forth and when you're doing this chanting I want you to kind of pay attention to how it sounds but also what are the frequencies that are surrounding it and the longer you do this chanting it takes you into this sound meditation where your body is becoming the sound and the vibrations and you can literally feel like this tunnel of sound opening up and this practice has very much allowed me to hear clear audience i'm not naturally a clear audience psychic but i literally heard um, shamanic spirits speaking to me i've literally heard glowing orbs of light speaking to me um so it really it really works and this is a practice that i loved to use in my life so the next practice is you can actually create a state of trance alchemy by gazing at a flame so the last thing i want to talk about to connect to your psychic abilities is entering your heart space your heart space is inside of your chest it is inside of your physical heart and it is inside your heart chakra our heart space is our zero point to connect to the multiverse it is the zero point it is the center of our embodiment as a human being through the black hole inside of our heart that is connected to a black hole system that connects with every other zero point every other sen center in the universe and it is the very access to our multi-dimensionality the hurt space is also a place of pure love it is a place of connection to pure love consciousness so the heart space is a connection to feeling your love for mother earth feeling your love for the multi-dimensional consciousness and learning to love yourself and i have a video that's going to be linked below on the heart space and how to connect with the heart space it is a state of openness and receptivity like you'll find nowhere else another thing you can do is you can go to really powerful energy vortexes like nordic spas which are just like this deep body meditation saunas and cold plunges and hot springs and really just being in the water for so long and going through these treatments really really raises the vibration of your energy it puts you in a deep meditative state like nothing else will and it will allow you to connect to your psychic abilities in this way there's also float tanks for this that would be the absolute most amazing for your sensory experience because then again there is more of a closed experience to what is physically around you and it will allow you to really open up your receptors now the last thing i want to mention in this video is that drumble melchizedek had a video a while back on opening up the third eye and the exercise that he gives is absolutely insane um for opening up your third eye i think it's like the hopi tribe or something that gave it to him and what it is is i'll give you a quick example now basically there is um a positive frequency and a negative frequency in your right hand and your left hand and there are these 
beams of energy that connect with your third eye that come out of your head. So there's one beam that goes down from your chin and then up through your head in the middle of your head. And then there's one that comes out through your third eye and then through the back of your head. And then there's one that comes up like a unicorn through your forehead and then on the lower part of your head as well. Um, so basically you take your right hand and the right hand is always behind you and the left hand is always in front of you and basically what you do is you're gonna place them on these vortexes of energy. So let's say it's your third eye, the one on your third eye and the one that is directly in the middle of your head and you just say open, open, open. And then you can move to the unicorn one and the one that's lower down on your head and open, open, open. And you just do that for as long as you feel like you need to to open them up. The one that comes out of your chin and out of the top of your head, you don't need to activate that one. It will naturally activate when the other two are activated. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that this helps you connect to your own psychic abilities.